I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but he refuses to see me. But I know he's chafing at the Circle's ways that keep the demons from him. Imagine that. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainreel trusts to enter the Fade to free him. So you're what? Hoping I can yell really loudly in his ear? Maybe give him a good shake? I'm hoping you can reach him. You made a strong impression when you rescued him from the slavers. Sir Thrask told me that Fainreel speaks of you with great respect. The Keeper says Fainreel's powers are a throwback to ancient magics that once let elves shape the Fade. The only way to reach him is through his dreams. How would such a magic work? I am no mage. I only know the Keeper said it was a power greatly feared by the Tevinter Magisters. I'm not afraid of demons. Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fenriel back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Are you willing to submit to her magic to save my son? What does the ritual entail? The Keeper can explain it better than I. Her ritual will send you into the Fade. Once there, I imagine you face down the demons until Fainreel regains control of himself. You will be unable to return from the Fade until he does. I would not see the demons acquire a new source of power. I know his power makes him dangerous, but please, it's not Fainreel's fault. Be gentle with him. The Fade, huh? Don't know how much help I'd be to you there. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will, without the aid of Lyria. In the Fade, they can shape dreams, and even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers, and slay them in their dreams. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. What exactly are we going to do here? 
The elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. Just send me into the Fade. I told you he was amazing. Now, Ariane, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. I want to get this over with. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. That is Fainriel's greatest fear. I won't be the one to make it come true. I have no choice but to leave it in your hands. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. I have no desire to explore the Fade, but if you need me, I will go. I admit, I'm a little fascinated. Let us begin. I had not thought to return in such a way. It is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. We're just here for a visit, so don't get too homesick. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainwheel's mind straining. We will not have much time. Well, it's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, a fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. A demon of sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Call me Torpor. I have a proposition that might interest you. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. That's it, Fainriel. Hard on the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a great lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antietha, Father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, Mother? That's not your father, Fainriel. It's a demon. And I'm definitely not your mother. A demon? No. No, I want this! Then remember this. is who took away the... Only thing you ever wanted. Ah! You. You turned him against me. And now you're going to die. You have cost me a dream. But at least you'll provide me a death. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He is now a prisoner of the Circle, but through us he shall find freedom. I... I don't know what to say. This is a trick. First Enchanter, what are you doing here? Mother told me the Dalish are honorable. Why would the Keeper lie? Why would she entrust her people to a human? You are one of us, Fainreel. 
Your magic will restore our greatness. But I... I can't even control my magic. The circle says I have power, but no gift for using it. That's a demon, Fainreal. It wants to trick you. He lies. The first enchanter is a pawn of the Templars. No. Silence, demon! This is what the circle warns of. The temptation! You're not the keeper! Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons! You! Why did you interfere? With my power joined to his, Fainreal would have changed the world. There can be no honest deal with a demon. No. You think I will lie then, when I offer your friends what Fainreal turned down? You think this slave would choose you over his freedom? Cast your eyes elsewhere, demon. I won my freedom from the Magisters long ago. But you fear them still. They have left their marks on your body and your mind. With my aid, you could be free forever. You could have power enough to challenge any who would chain you. If you accept, you are no better than the Magistrates. But... to face them as an equal, I... What... would you want from me? A moment of your time. Nothing more. I can't spend another moment in this place. The screaming. Everywhere, all I hear are the nightmares of people dying, fleeing, gnawing their own arms off to escape. This is a world of monsters. They all want me. Please, help me escape. Help me die. If I kill you here, I only destroy your mind. You will become a tranquil. I was afraid of that for so long. I can't even remember why. To live. To sleep without dreaming. To never hear a demon's whisper. It is a blessing as great as standing at the Maker's side. Is this truly necessary? Do it. Put the knife in my heart. You can master this talent, Fenrir. You don't have to let it destroy you. The Circle will only fear me more if I reveal what I can do. I cannot stay there. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. I can do this. Fainreal has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. I must go see him at the Circle. He must forgive me now. He will walk a strange path as a dreamer, Ariani. Do not expect your son's life to be easy now. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. And I must apologize for my weakness. I would have thought myself above such influence. I find there's nothing like being possessed to keep you on the straight and narrow. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. Isabella, my dusky goddess. You have buried yourself in the flesh of my heart like a worm in a red, red apple. You heartworm you. Oh, look, my friend is here. Excuse me. But I haven't gotten to the part where I invite you to feast upon my tender white flesh. That's all right, I think I'll manage. 
Speaking of romance, you and Fenris, eh? That taut, controlled body, the brooding demeanor and intense gaze. I hear he still wears the shackles from his life in bondage under his clothes. You know what they say about men like that, don't you? I don't know what they say. He can't find a saw. <laughs> <sighs> I had you there. You thought I was going to say something dirty. <laughs> You have got to hear this, Hawk. There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. This sounds like something you would say, Varric. Me? I'm hurt you'd think I'd spread such a half-spun tale. I tell people how you arm wrestled a hundred foot tall golem in the deep roads. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? I love the sound of my own voice, and I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You may not be my best dressed or cleanest friend, Master Hawk, but you're all right in my book. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. I have been thinking about what happened in the Fade. That a demon could have played so easily on my fears disturbs me. I failed you. I won't let that happen again. I have to admit, I was surprised. No more so than myself. As for the boy, we shall see what he becomes, and if he regrets the mercy you provided. But that is not important now. Let's just hope we face nothing similar in the future.